Hey everybody, welcome back to some more DVD unboxings. Today I have the iconic moments. Now, what this was that Warner Bros released did their most fabulous like movies onto classical work um, DVD slip covers. Some of them were made the Blu-ray and I will do the Blu-ray unboxings later on. But I think the reasons why they done these was to compete with the Disney's like classic collections and all the other slip covers that they they do as part of a set. And the iconic moments consists of 41 DVDs and they were over a span of two years. So the first year had 24 and in the second year they released more which subtotaled to about 41 in total. By the way, collecting these was a pain in the ass because some of them I had to get from Tesco's. But what I liked about this one, they weren't just exclusive to HMV because at HMV they only do certain exclusive ones for HMV. And with this one, I was able to go to other branches like the range, Tesco's, I'd be able to find them on eBay more easier. And that's what made collecting this one so much more better than all the others I've collected in the past. I have the festival collection as well, which is a HMV exclusive, and that one was even more hard to get. And I'll explain that when I do the unboxing of that one. So over the pan of these next couple of weeks, you'll be seeing the iconic moments. And I hope you guys enjoy because I had these ever since they first came out. And I've been keeping hold of them sealed just for this setup because I've wanted to make them fresh and unique. So let's get straight in with number one, Gone with the Wind. Now, when I first read this title, I thought it meant Gone with the Wild. Then I realized I misread the title and it does similarly say Gone with the Wind. But in my mind, I thought Gone with the Wild. I don't know where I got that expression from. Maybe because I was watching the Wild Four Murrays. Maybe watching these jungle movies with the rock in. And I just got wild stuck in my mind. Now the slipcover is the main reason I want to do these videos because the actual DVD itself is the same as what you would normally pick up if you wanted to collect this on your own. So the only bit about this that is iconic is the slipcovers. They just re-released the DVD with the rebranded slipcover and that's the only value is the slipcover. Anyone can have this DVD, the same exact replica DVD, but it's the slipcover that makes the money. So on the back as well of the slipcover, you see a banner across saying Warner Bros invites you to celebrate the most iconic moments in film history. A winner of 10 Academy Awards since 1939. So I want to show you the two front covers of these two. The slip cover just shows a nice uh, orangey background with a tree, while the DVD just shows two couples at the front romantically in love. Now I haven't seen the movie, so if this is wrong and they're actually our siblings, I do apologise, but the way they're looking, it looks like they're romance basically and that's what i'll probably get when i first see this like it's obviously going to be a romantic film but if i'm wrong don't bite my head off i just haven't seen the movie and most of these i really haven't seen because most of them before my time and most of them i probably never even heard of this one shows a few screenshots has a brief description same as this one and shows a uh, some thumbnails um, but not a lot as like clip art as this one does but it also has a nice iconic moment banner across here that tells you it's number one it's number one on the front there and then it will tell you there as well so it's cornered on all the sides which is pretty unique now the best part is getting into these now previously I would only use my hands but I want to use a knife and also I should have really mentioned at the start, these were 5 for 20, so it made collecting these even much more better. And the Blu-ray ones are 5 for 25. Now I didn't get the Blu-ray ones at the same time, mainly because of money issues. I don't want to waste too much money buying the Blu-ray ones, because you've got to understand, 25 quid for 5 DVDs doesn't really like sound that much, but when you're on like a low budget like I am, you can't just splash out thousands of pounds, like willy-nilly. I like I have to like save my money and take my time and I went with the DVDs because I saved five pounds and I'm about to get them more at a better price. I think at my first run at HMV when I brought loads of these, I spent 120 quid. Literally 120 quid on DVDs. And these were just the five or twenty deals. So I got like what 20 to 30 DVDs for 120. It was a really good awesome deal at the time. Looking back at now, that was a lot of money for my first day run. Let's open this straight up. Oh, Fuck's sake. I, like, I was in the moment, I was in the zone, I was about to get right there, nail it. And I open it up, and straight away we see the one cursed thing that I hate throughout, okay? At least try and do something with the artwork. Don't just 
do this shit with this. In my mind, I think this is a double-sided disc, and there probably is. Um, no, it doesn't look like there is. From the looks of it, it looks like a double-sided disc, but then I look at the edge of that one, it doesn't look like it's compatible with a double-sided disc. I don't like how they do these type of designs. If you're gonna do double discs, have two discs, don't just rely on one disc, that's stupid. Instead of just like, copying like the same DVD that you print out time and time again, why not redo the DVD case, redo the DVD, which isn't that hard, and make it so it's fitting for the iconic moments. The whole point of iconic moments is to celebrate it, not disappoint us when we open the fucking case. I can scratch this just by looking at it, and I can't just like look away from one side. No, it's on fucking both sides. I have to see my ugly face every time I look into it, thinking, wow, let me read the small print. Oh, hello, me. Go fuck yourself. I hate these. These are bullshit, and they come up so many times in my unboxing videos. It's unbelievable how many times people see me rant on about them, and it may not be a big deal, but for me, it's a big fucking deal. So yes, this is Gone With The Wind. Sorry, this video is a bit longer than expected. I just wanted to explain the whole iconic moments. I wanted to explain what they were, what they were doing, and how I got them, how much money I spent, majority on, on one day. Um, but the next ones will be quick and simple. I will have a lot of editing to do, most of my mistakes. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please maybe leave a thumbs up on the video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, turn on post notifications, and if you're already a subscriber and you haven't turned on post notifications, please do that by ticking that bell because you keep up to date when I post new exciting videos. My schedule has changed, if you guys haven't known. I now do unboxing videos on Mondays and Tuesdays only because of the new setup of the format that I'm recording. It takes much more time to render, edit, and all that mumbo jumble. And also on Sunday I've done pack openings so you also get additional content there. So there's three videos a week. There was five so I cut down two but at least you're still getting content from me. But I'll see you next time. But until then you take care guys.